Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing a finances and career reading for you for April 1st to the 15th, 2019. That's 2019. All right. I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up, and you guys are helping this channel grow absolutely wonderfully. I want to thank each and every one of you, whether you are new or old to this channel, for your support. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what April 1st to the 15th has in store for you for your finances and career. April 1st to the 15th, 2019, finances and career, Taurus. April 1st to the 15th, finances and career, Taurus. April 1st to the 15th, finances and career, Taurus. April 1st to the 15th, finances and career, Taurus. April 1st to the 15th, finances and career, Taurus. April 1st to the 15th, finances and career, Taurus. April 1st to the 15th, finances and career, Taurus. April 1st to the 15th, finances and career, Taurus. April 1st to the 15th, finances and career, Taurus. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. April 1st to the 15th, okay. That's where the cards fell. So that's where spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything is the nine of wands. Okay. So when it comes to your finances and career, you, you've had enough. You've, you feel like you've been put through the ringer. Oh my gosh, I love it. But you're crowned by a gift. It's almost as if everything that you have been through, Taurus, is really starting to pay off. You need to step back. You need to step back and really look and evaluate things because what's right in front of you isn't actually going to be the blessing that you wind up taking. There's a need to guard your solar plexus, guard your prosperity, watch your money. The death card. Okay, so there's an ending that's coming. This is also a Scorpio energy, a time frame of October 23rd to November 22nd. That's, that's a time where you're actually going to see the prosperity that you've been working so hard for really start to come in. All right, and I know that you're probably thinking, you know, this is a reading for April 1st to the 15th. I have to read the cards as they come and give you all the information that they are providing. So I want you to know that something is going to happen in, around, well, around October 23rd to November 22nd that is going to have to do with an ending and is going to have to do with a new chapter opening up. This is something that you've been visualizing for a really long time, really focusing on, and then it will be time to take that leap of faith. Right now, yes, you're being seen, you're claiming your power more, and you have this passion to you. So this is a fire sign energy in Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Because I'm doing this for careers, okay, when I see pentacles, that's about money. When I see wands, that's about your career. That's about the way that you are being seen within your career. And right now, you are actually finding a way to evolve. You are finding a path that you want to take more. And people are really starting to take notice of that. That could be in a very big way. It could be in a very small way. You have a cancer energy here, June 21st to July 21st. You're going to see things starting to change. You're actually going to see yourself going through kind of a transformation and awakening, standing before the altar of your existence, embracing your power, embracing your prosperity, embracing what it is that you want and saying, you know what, it's my time. Because you know what, quite frankly, it really is. It is your time to start moving forward in the prosperity that you want, in the success that you desire. But there is an ending that's going to happen before this new beginning comes. It's almost as if you close a door. It could be on a whole entire chapter, oh good goodness, of your life that you are just saying, you know what, no more. I can't do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. You're really looking at things differently. Okay, so let's see what your guiding words are. Taurus, April 1st to the 15th, 2019. Finances and career, Taurus. April 1st to the 15th, finances and career, Taurus. April 1st to the 15th, finances and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly. Taurus, April 1st to the 15th, fi finances and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Ah, okay. So these are all the ones that flew out. We'll take the top two here. Opportunity, that's beautiful. And prosperity, I love it. I love that you got prosperity for your finances and career. Okay, that's that's absolutely beautiful. So opportunity. The world is full of opportunity waiting to be discovered. So yes, there are opportunities that are waiting for there, for you, Taurus. And it really does seem like now is a time where you're really starting to think about 
about expanding things, taking things, taking chances, taking risks. And I'm not saying doing anything crazy, you know, quitting your job, joining the circus, anything like that. What I am saying is starting to believe more and more within yourself and starting to see the personal power that you have within you. Prosperity is your next card. Know that you deserve all things wondrous and believe that you can have them. Okay. Prosperity. So you have opportunities opening up to you in the realm of prosperity, in the realm of how you are moving forward. Because right now, you feel battered and bruised. You're not sure that you can move forward in the prosperity that you want or that things are really going to be working out the way that you desire them. You have here the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is a sense of getting so much noise from everybody else from all over that you're losing your own voice. So don't do that, okay, <laughs> to, to put it easily. And I know that that is sometimes impossible, but don't lose your own voice during these 15 days. Keep your mind focused on what it is that you want. Keep yourself focused on the way that you're moving forward because there is a blessing that has come through all the nonsense that you have been through, through all the chaos that you have been through. There is a sense here of you needing to just kind of put that staff back in the ground and say, you know what, no more. I'm not listening to you guys. I'm not having this opening here. The more you believe in yourself, the more these wands will grow and will become thicker so that they can kind of tune out outside nonsense, all right? The opinions, the beliefs of everybody else that's trying to tell you how to, you know, live your life, how to move forward in your career, what you should do to increase your finances, everything like that. This is saying here, opportunities are going to arise for you Taurus that have to do with your own personal power, your own personal blessings, right? And if you listen to everybody else, you're going to be pulled in so many different directions that you're actually going to miss the opportunities that are opening up for you. You have crowning everything, the Ace of Pentacles. This is God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing you a gift for you. You are an earth sign. You're represented by the Pentacles in the Minor Arcana. This is the gift of prosperity being handed to you. Take it take it. Now, it, for some of you, it's going to lead you to the next stage in your existence, that next chapter in your life. For others of you, it is saying here that you're getting closer and closer. You're always going to remember the sorrow and the hardships that you have been through. That's what the poppies here symbolize to me. Sorrow, hardships, feeling overwhelmed, but now you are moving towards what it is that you want, towards what it is that you desire. And you're starting to see it with more clarity. You're starting to believe in yourself more. And that faith that you have in yourself is really, is really quite beautiful. So if you're saying, you know, I don't have faith in myself, I don't believe that I can do this. That's because these voices here, they're too loud. They're too high. They're too much. Start looking at yourself as prosperous. Okay, I'm going to jump to this card right here because this is my visualization card, the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups warns against, okay, it warns against imagination. It warns against just imagining that, you know, things can change, that things will happen. And it says, see it, believe it, understand it, feel it, okay? The Seven of Cups for me is saying that the first person you have to lie to, that you deserve the success that I'm seeing here, is yourself. Okay, because there's something here that's holding you back. There's some sorrow, there's some way, there's a defending of your home and your family and your personal temple. If you don't have, you know, if you don't have people that you live with, this is really just kind of, you know, feeling as if you have to hunker down and defend what it is that you have with the four of cups here and then the four of pentacles. So there's a sense here of wanting to go to ground, of really needing to just kind of bunker down for these 10 days, well, no, these 15 days. What I'm seeing here is a sense of emotions running high, but that's why you're reigning in the emotions here with the chariot card, all right? There's a sense here of blessings coming to you, but this is actually going to be the, these aren't actually going to be the blessings that you take right away. These blessings here, this blessing here is going to be the one that kind of changes the game for you. So it's not saying here to wait for this fourth blessing to come. It's saying that you need to step back. You need to take everything in. You need to calm your emotions. You need to meditate. You need to take time for yourself. Once you do so, you're going to see that when you open your eyes, you have blessings before you. You have a sense of prosperity, prosperity, love, abundance, just a sense of security around you. But the biggest security that's going to come, the biggest blessing that's going to come is going to be the most unexpected. 
all right? And that's going to come from somewhere that you, again, you hadn't expected it to, somewhere where you're kind of taken by surprise. Then you have here the Four of Pentacles. There is, okay, this is kind of getting a bit real, but there's a sense here of wanting to hold on to money. And the more you're wanting to hold on to the money, Taurus, the more it's going to kind of fall through your fingertips, all right, or your, fall through your fingers. So what this is saying here, and I know it sounds really funny, but this is saying here, bless the fact that you have money to go out, okay? Even if it's really tight, even if it's really just kind of chaotic right now, right? And you need to take that time to step back and, and heal and look at things. Don't try and hold on to the money. Pay what needs to be paid. Do what needs to be done because this is a sense here of by being able to kind of let go a little bit, you're actually going to increase the gift that is coming. This is not saying to lend money that you don't have to people. This is not saying to buy on your credit cards and, and max them out. This is saying here to kind of loosen your grip just a little bit on finances because right now there's such a focus on finances that it's becoming tunnel vision, okay, for some of you. And that's what this is warning against because to take this gift, to take this leap of faith, to see yourself stand before the altar of your existence and to keep on moving forward in your career, there is a sense here of not coming from a, a place of lack. And right now that's how I'm seeing the four of, of pentacles. It's coming from a place of I have to hold on. I have to hold on because I won't have it. And this is actually causing anxiety, which can be causing indigestion, upset stomach, heartburn, headaches. You know, even your feet can be hurting you because they're, you're needing to take steps forward, but you're wanting to hold on because the world is just too much right now, okay? So this is what I'm seeing here. So this is just that warning, and this is where that door needs to close, okay? And it's almost as if like, like a clock kind of going through. You have this gift that's coming here, and you have not seeing it and trying to hold on to what you already have, which is kind of stopping that gift from coming. And then you have the death card. And the death card is, it's, it's just an ending, okay? It is a closing of the door. It's a dying away of the old self, a rebirth of the new. There is some sort of blessing that is coming your way, but it comes through a complete ending of, you know, of worry, of fear, of doubt. And it doesn't mean that your worry, fear, and doubt go away. It means that you're not, you're not living there, okay? This is an ending. This is a closing of the door. This is a shutting of circumstances. And this is then a moving forward, seeing with more than just your eyes, all right? Seeing with your intuition, seeing your opportunities come your way, and knowing what is right for you and what isn't, okay? This is saying here to trust your intuition and do not listen to every single word that everybody is going to be saying to you. Even if what I'm saying to you doesn't resonate with you, then don't listen to that part of it. Or your message could be with your moon sign or your rising sign, you know, anything like that. If you're cross watching, you know, there can be aspects of this that are true and aspects of it that don't ring true for you. But this is saying here to make sure that you're focusing and healing yourself because there has been a battle that has been going on for a very, very long time, mostly a count of four, four days, four weeks, four months, four years, okay? And you are sitting there and you are saying, no more. I can't do this anymore. That's when things start to change. It's not going to be a firework change. Everybody wants a firework life, one huge change after another, but you are closing the door on having to hold on to things so tightly. You're guarding your soul and yourself, yes, but this is also saying to let go, to cleanse, to move forward, to what it is that you want, to where it is that you want to be. The Scorpio time frame again, is October 23rd to November 22nd. That's when you're actually going to see the changes that are coming from this time frame, from April 1st to the 15th, you're going to see your mindset, your consciousness really start to change, okay? And you're going to see that the endings that have happened here are going to play out more profoundly during October 23rd to November 22nd, all right? And it's going to last the endings that you have here. And if this is confusing, I do apologize, but the endings that you have here, once they come, Okay, actually, I'm going to have them defined because once they come, it's really going to start moving you forward and you're going to see these changes come in all the way to 
you know, from October 23rd to November 22nd. So please define the death card in Taurus financial, financial reading. Please define the death card in Taurus financial reading for April 1st to the 15th. Please define the death card for Taurus financial reading for April 1st to the 15th, 2019. Please define the Taurus death card for the Taurus reading April 1st to the 15th, 2019. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Yeah, the six of swords it's time to move on there's an ending that's coming here an ending that has been holding you back for some of you this is like a house this is this is this is something it has to do with home and self it could be yeah but it's something like this it could be you know just being stuck feeling stuck mentally physically you're really going to see things starting to change and then you have here the four yeah the four of cups okay so you're moving forward you have the four of cups here you have blessings that you're not seeing Okay, and then you have the page of swords, knowing your mind, cutting through doubts and fears, messages are going to come to you. Okay, that's why your opportunities, ooh, opportunities are going to come as you know your mind, as you embrace your wisdom. This is also an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. Then you have the five of coins. The five of coins is prosper prosperity, but feeling out in the cold, feeling as if that prosperity isn't with you, isn't leading you forward the way that you would want it to, just feeling overwhelmed. But at the center of everything is the five of cups. So the five of cups is looking, looking at the disappointments instead of looking at the blessings. And that's what you're starting to stop within yourself towards. You always expect more. You always push harder, fast. You, you know, you're like, just do more. This is saying here to look at the two cups that are standing instead of the betrayal that has fallen, instead of the three cups that have fallen. Okay. As you do so, I love it. The seven of coins, there's this prosperity coming in. There's this patience to move forward to the prosperity that you want. There you have the queen of coins. This is you shining through. Okay. You're embracing your prosperity. You're embracing what it is that you want. You're shining through as the queen. So being kind, caring, and compassionate, especially to yourself. There you have the knight of coins being able to defend that prosperity. And then the seven of swords walking away from something that no longer fits you. That's no longer right. The subconscious message for the death card is the sun card. So the death of, the death of this lack brings you the light, the joy, and prosperity that you want, okay? So it is time for a lot of you Torians to walk away, to walk away, to have this ending come here, this ending of listening to others over yourself, this ending of feeling as if, you know, you're not going to have enough because the Seven of Cups is saying visualize, visualize, visualize. See yourself as the success that you want to be. Believe in yourself. Really listen to your subconscious self, Taurus. You're not going to steer yourself wrong. Believe, see, and then take that leap of faith. Take that leap of faith as you move forward, as you move towards what you want, as you go to where it is that you want to be. This is something that has been a part of you for a really long time. This is something that you love. Now, within your work, this is saying here that there's an aspect within your job that you love. There's an aspect of what you do that you love, that you want to embrace, that you want to really start, you know, expanding on, even if this is a hobby for some of you. And this is expanding on that hobby and seeing blessings, <coughs> excuse me, where once there was only, <coughs> excuse me, a sense of lack, a sense of disappointment. Okay, this is taking that leap of faith and seeing the blessings come your way. This is new beginnings here that are opening up in finances. This is starting to move forward. This is saying, also that with the nine of wands being right at the center, do not listen to everybody's opinion. You're going to have, it's almost like too many cooks ruin the pot. Everybody's going to be telling you what to do. You have to step back. You have to close the door on this place of fear and lack and embrace who it is that you want to be. You're not going to be able to move there right away. So I know what your finances, what your career, you're probably thinking, you know, is money coming in? Yes, money is coming in. As you change your outlook, on money as you change the what you're listening to and as you're changing you know the limitations that have been put on yourself money is coming in there's a sense here of releasing fears of of healing of stepping back of meditating and then not trying to hold on so tightly not trying to kind of 
fix have everything be fixed or fix everything this is saying here kind of let things happen naturally organically moving forward you're closing the door there's an ending there's there it's like a death there's it's as if somebody it's not somebody who is dying that's not what i'm saying at all and that's not how i read the death card the death card is a dying away of the old self a rebirth of the new but it is an ending here that is profound and it's going to feel at times as if you've been through the ringer and that a part of you died along the way okay that's how traumatic it can be for some of you and that's because you need to take this leap of faith on who it is that you want to be you have the magician here okay you have the Knight of Wands and you have the Chariot card. The knight, the Magician is standing before the altar of your existence. It is embracing your prosperity. It is embracing your abundance. This is an ending of a four-year cycle, okay? That's what this is. And this is a four-year cycle that has left you feeling small. This is also a cycle when it comes to the home, when it comes to finances, when it comes to not feeling as secure as you would like to be. This is that ending that's coming in. Is everything going to change all at once and all of a sudden you're going to have thousands upon thousands of dollars in your bank account. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. What I am saying here is that you start to get noticed. You're standing in your power. You're changing circumstances. Your career, you are starting, it's, this is either saying if you wanted to start a new career, if you wanted to start looking for a new job, this would be a very good time to do it. Okay. Because doors are opening up to you. And this is a time to take the leap of faith and not stay stagnant. This is saying here that there's a transformation going, a passion of what it is that you want, and then you have this cancer energy around you, all right? This June 21st to July 21st, where you rein in your emotions and you charge forward towards what it is that you desire, towards where it is that you want to be. This is embracing your prosperity and saying, okay, I need to have this magician time. I need to stand before the altar of my existence, embracing my gifts, knowing that I can change. Now, for some of you, this is going to be a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, who is around you, who's going to help you move forward with, okay, this is passion and love kind of coming together to move you forward to where it is that you want to be. This is somebody who's very logical, very business-minded. If you wanted to start with a, you know, going to recruiting places, hedge hunters, people like that who help you get hired, this is, this is saying here that this would be a great time to kind of you know, test the waters or update your LinkedIn or, or something to that effect here because you're going to start moving forward and you're going to start things, you're going to start seeing things changing. Now, for those of you who are perfectly happy in your job, this is taking on more of a role. This is, you know, showing your your abilities, your prosperity, either your, your talents. And this is people taking notice. And this is also saying, do not let emotions get in the way. This is logic right here. And this is emotions coming in. This is saying that if you want the success, and the prosperity that you desire, do not let emotions kind of, you know, tear you off course. Rein them in, keep yourself focused. That's how the prosperity is coming and the opportunities are going to open up to you. I'd be careful with a Scorpio here. I just really would be because there's some there's something about being stung. Now, this is either somebody who's keeping secrets from you or something to that effect, but that's, that's what I'm seeing here. It's not so much a cancer, though for some of you it might very well be because this is a general reading, but this is very much a sense of, you know, of moving forward and coming out of secrets, coming out of a place of feeling of lack to move forward to the prosperity that you want. The subconscious message, the tower card, that makes perfect sense, especially since we have such a severe ending here that, you know, keeps on coming up. You have been through a tower time. Subconsciously, you, you feel as if you had to lose everything in order to, well, this is saying that you have to lose everything in order to gain it. But this is also saying here that, that you just feel as if inside there's a sense of chaos, there's a sense of being overwhelmed, and there's a sense of not being sure how to move forward. And this goes into in complete contrast with the leap of faith that you're being told to take and standing before the altar of your existence. This is negativity. This is, you know, trauma, drama coming into play. And this is saying here, subconsciously, do not let yourself be tear down because a karmic debt isn't a bad thing. It is something that you haven't forgiven yourself for over since past lives, you know, because for me, the tower equals a karmic debt. Yeah. And I know I don't usually do this, but it, this is walking away. This is saying, you know what, it's time to leave it. It's time to leave the past behind. You, you no longer have to keep on replaying it 
Taurus when it comes to your finances. Yes, mistakes have been made. Yes, things have gone wrong. You know, you might not be where it is that you want it to be, but this is a reclaiming of your power. And this is knowing that financial gifts and financial gains are on their way for you. And this is what you're working towards and nothing's going to hold you back. So this tower time has actually, you know, kind of what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, has given you the strength and the determination to make it the way that you want to. All right. All right, Taurus, I hope this reading has resonated with you. If you made it all the way to the end with me, congratulations. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Also, thank you for subscribing. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'll be reading for you guys real soon. Bye.